Hello, and this is Top 25 Video Game Bosses, Boss number 16, and yes, I know this is the first video for this series in like seven months, and um, if you've all seen the big update video called Big Update Must Watch, you'll know why, you'll know why I was gone for the second, for like half the summer. And if y'all pay attention to the bulletins I ever post on my channel, y'all know why the reason I've been focusing on SMBO so much is because that needs to get done first. Because I've been doing that for too long, and it should already be done. Um, yeah. So anyway, if you, if you paid attention to any of the bulletins I posted, you'll know one of them said that I would resume the Epic Mickey walkthrough and the Top 25 Video Game Bosses series after Season 6 of SMBO is done. Well, season six is done, people. So I'm now gonna go back to 25 top 25 bosses, and tomorrow will be an Epic Mickey video, which Epic Mickey Part 15. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, realize this is boss number 16. So after this one, we'll still have like 15 more to go. Uh, just in case you need a refresher, boss number 25 was. Cleaver from Donkey Kong Country 2. 24 was King Zing Sting from Donkey Kong Country 2. Uh, one of them, yeah, I think Cleaver was 25. Zing Sting was 24. King Zing. Uh, 23 was Bowser, the Bowser battle in Mario Party 8. 22 was Irock from this game right, right here. And this game is Super Mario 64 DS. 21 was the Omega Metroid. Oh, I never knew this could happen. Okay. 21 was the Omega Metroid from Metroid Fusion. 20 was the security robot B.O.X. from Metroid Fusion. 19 was the Wiggler that you fight in Tiny Huge Island of this game, Super Mario 64 DS. 18 was the S.A.X. from Metroid Fusion. <coughs> um, and 17 was Chief Chili, also from Super Mario 64 DS. And... To be honest with you, I've, out of all the times I've played this game, I never knew that if you stood at one place for so long, that the characters would fall asleep. I never knew that. So anyway, this is boss 16, and that was just a refresher of the first nine bosses. And remember, this is top 25 out of the video games I myself own. Alright, now I know this is the fourth one to take place in Super Mario 64 DS, and this is the fourth one, but it is the last one. So if you're getting fed up with this game, this is the last one. And just like I had to be Luigi to fight Chief Chili, I have to be Mario for this one because boss number 16 is the final Bowser battle in Super Mario 64 DS. And you have to be, you have to be Mario to get up there. <clears throat> because even if you have 80 stars, the stairs will still be endless for Luigi, Wario, and Yoshi. <clears throat> now if you remember, um, I played Luigi for the Wiggler, I mean, for the Irock and Chief Chili battles, but I could have played as Yoshi with Irock, and I played Wiggler with, with Wario. Alright, so anyway, I've had this game since, like, ever since I got my DS, which is Christmas of 2009. So since we're Mario, we have all 150 stars, we can just go right up here. And if you also don't remember, I always show a little bit of gameplay before each boss, uh, just, to zazz, just to jazz things up a bit, so it's not just the boss. <clears throat> Alright, now, this little area right here is where the final two stars are kept. It's called Bowser in the Sky. Like, the first Bowser battle was Bowser in the Dark World, the second one was Bowser in the Fire Sea. Well, this is Bowser in the Sky, and notice how this beginning platform is, like, shaped like an arrow. Uh, most likely, I will not use my video, my new, my video capturing software on, the, on this, on this video. Alright, now, the way you get the two final stars in this one, are uh, one of them is an eight red coin challenge, and there's one red coin right there, and I don't know if I should go ahead and collect these or not. Ah, heck, why not? Alright, one of them is an 8 red coin challenge, and, um... Crap. One of them is an 8 red coin challenge, <clears throat> and another one is a switch star challenge. And, you know, I'm playing this on the floor, so it's kind of hard to control, <clears throat> the, to use these controls right now. So that's pretty much why I died. Heck, I think I'll just use a backflip. I'm not gonna push that crate. And once again, that didn't work. <clears throat> Alright, I'll try one more time. And this better work.
Okay, good. It worked. All right, now that crate is just to like you know help you get up and get to that coin. Okay, be very careful, Mario. All right. Okay, we're gonna rush onto this thing. We're gonna have to rush up here. All right, there's a Goomba. Let's stomp on him. Hey, he hurt me. Screw that. Stupid awkward angle. Like, this is gonna be really hard to defeat the boss because of this angle. You know what? Screw this. I might just... Okay, here's a Ferrana. I might just skip the red coins. But I will go down here. Not to, not to get that red coin right there. But, uh... Uh... Okay. Yeah, there's a red coin right there, so I might as well get it. Okay, good. There's a couple of extra lives down here. If you are going to get that switch star, here's the switch. And you got to dash all the way back. If you remember a few seconds ago where I saw that glass spear, that's where the... See right there where my finger's pointing? Well, that's it right there. That's where the star is. And I missed it. Yeah, stupid angle. Alright. <sighs> Wasn't a problem with the other um, videos I had to do for this game, so I don't know what the deal is. Heck with it, I might, I might just use my capturing software. Okay. Okay, now there's an extra life down there, so I'm gonna stay on this thing for that. Okay, I got it. Alright, now one shortcut to get up here is just to jump up there, but I'm not going to take that. Okay, good. I did not die, because if I died, I'd be very pissed off. Okay. I'm going to see if I can... You know, let me just cut this out. Alright, I've adjusted the angle. I'm not on the floor. I'm on, my, I'm on my bed. So, let's do this. This, this looks better. I hope. Alright, now anyway, that guy right there is a WOM, or however you pronounce that. So, I'm gonna let him try and crush me, which you know isn't gonna work. I'm gonna ground pound him. Silver coins fly out. You know what, this isn't working either. Alright, I'm back on the floor, I'm just gonna suck it up. So anyway, uh, I died again, and I had to go back. So, before that guy lights me on fire, I'm gonna... Are you kidding me? That guy still lit me on fire! Ugh, stupid Phantos. I think that's what they are, is the Phantos from Mario Brothers 2. Alright, if I can't get up there, I don't know how I'm supposed to get up there, so... Yeah! There we go. Alright, I'm gonna pick this guy up and throw him before he throws me! Alright, walk very carefully. See, we could have jumped up from that platform onto this ledge, but I was too lazy. Hit this exclamation point switch. To go up here. There's a, I'm not going to collect the red coins anymore, sorry. But there's, <clears throat> there's one of them right there, just so you know. Wait till the fire goes out. Run down. Beat the piranha. Jump on this. And there's another red coin up there. I'm not gonna go to the links to get that to get that red coin though. Okay, I'm safe. Got a few bombs down here. There's another red coin. I think there's like an extra life if I collect all those yellow coins right there, but I'm not going to go at it. No! No! Ah, oh, you stupid Goombas. 
Yeah, go ahead and kill those Goombas before they kill you. Trust me. <clears throat> Alright. Jump on this pole. Thank God I caught on to that. Run over here. Run up. Grab these coins. No! Ugh. Okay. I made it back up under the platform. It took me like two additional tries. But uh, there's another spinning thingy right here. And I missed it. I can't even tell where it is. Ah, uh, how am I supposed to get up there? Made it. Alright, we're at the final area at last. There's gonna be a strong gust right here. The final red coin. First of all, there's a one up right there behind that platform. If you look real closely at the pillars, you see it's an 8-bit Bowser breathing fire on an 8-bit Mario. The final coin is right there. So, uh, pretty clever trick Nintendo did. So anyway, each time you die, you'll regenerate right there. So that's helpful because you can get the, um, you can get an extra life each after each failure. Alright, so we're finally at Bowser. Let's go in this pipe. The music's got a nice pipe organ touch to it. That's just fine. I've been looking for somebody to find my with my fire breath. Your star power is useless against me. Your friends are all trapped in the walls, and you'll never see the princess again. Gwaha ha ha. All right, this is gonna be really tough. This is the this is the position I'm laying on. Okay. Uh, let's just hope I can hit one of these bombs. Yeah, that was dumb. Okay. Grab him again. Make sure he's flying, and... Kaboom! Now, in the previous two battles, it's only taken one bomb explosion to kill him, but this time, you gotta hit him three times with the bombs. So, be wary of that. Where am I headed? Okay, here's one. There's only five bombs in this arena, and the other two places have, like, ten. So, I mean, of course, you can never run out of bombs. Each time you run out of bombs, one of them will just reappear. So, that's, that's a nice perk. Okay, you serious? How'd I mess that up? Okay, there's one right there. And he fell off, which is not what I wanted to happen. Okay, whenever he, like, falls off, yeah, he's going to, like, take away a piece of the platform each time. And eventually, once he's done, it'll look like a star, of all things. Whenever he jumps and lands in the ground, he's going to electri electrify the ground, so be careful. Move, you stupid Bowser. Bye -bye. Ah! Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna pick this up. No! Ah! Oh, you stupid. Alright, here we go. Bye -bye. Gotcha! I got you that time. Okay. Anyway, so now he's gonna have a temper tantrum that he's almost dead, and he's gonna just magically make half the stage disappear, so it looks like a star. I mean, if you look on the map, you can kind of see it. 
Alright, let's hit some of those fireballs of coins in them. Good. Alright, I'm back at half power. I didn't get electrified that time. Alright, now that half the platform is gone, that just makes it way harder for you to toss Bowser into a bomb. Okay. I absolutely hate it when you're like right next to Bowser and it's hard to grab onto him. Because he keeps like... It's just, it's just running around in circles is what you're doing. Okay, there's a bomb right there. Perfect angle. No! Dang it! See what I mean? Like, it's just really, 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 really hard. Okay. Gotcha! Alright, I've killed Bowser. And anyway, his little defeat speech is, No, you've really beat me this time, Mario. I can't stand always losing to you. My troops, worthless. They've turned over all the power stars. Okay, and I don't know if you've ever known this, but if you have all 150 stars at this point, um, he will say something different. Like, he says, there's, like, if you don't have all of them, he says there's still some stars in the walls, something, something, something. But if you have all of them, he says... Wait, say that again? There are 150 stars in all? What? There were some in the castle that I missed? Yeah, buddy, there were like 30 stars you missed. 30 secret stars. Now I see peace returning to the world. I really hate that. It's so horrible, I can't watch. I'm out of here. Just you wait until next time. Until then, keep that touchscreen smoking. Gwahaha. And no, this is not a 151st star. This is just something cool that looks like a star. And at the end, which I'm not going to show to you, because if I ever do a walkthrough in this game, it'll, it'll like spoil the ending too early. Gives Mario a wing cap. <clears throat> but in the end, Mario takes that star, and like he throws it up at Peach's castle, and um, the star turns into Peach. So we have to assume that Bowser had Peach in his clutches this whole time. Like, literally, in his clutches. Ah, oh, crap, now I got a stomach cramp. Alright, we'll see you next boss, everybody.